With advances in cosmetic surgery, people now have many options for slimming down or restoring their natural beauty. Dr. Robert Langdon is the medical director at the Langdon Center for Laser and Cosmetic Surgery, and he joins me now. Dr. Langdon, thank you so much for being here today. Hi, Teresa. Hello there. So we're talking about body contouring, and when we talk about that, that leads into liposuction. Um, there's a, several types of liposuction, correct? Uh, right, correct. And they've uh, made some new advances. We have Pro Slim and body jet. Talk to me about all the differences, if you would. We have uh, various options in addition to Zerona, which is a non-invasive uh, body uh, uh, fat reduction method. We have several types of liposuction. Uh, one is uh, ProLipo, which is a laser that has two specific wavelengths, and this is used in conjunction with liposuction. Another alternative is Slim Lipo, which is, uh, is another laser with two different wavelengths yet again also used in conjunction with liposuction. And then we have body jet, which is not a laser, it's actually a water jet uh, method of doing liposuction. And that can be a real advantage when we want to obtain the fat cells in a gentle way in order to use them to add volume to other parts of the body. So just so I get this correct, doctor, you could remove fat that you don't want on your body and then put it in places where you might want more volume? That's right. Yeah, it has to be done the right way. So the fat cells are kind of fragile. And it turns out that it's not only fat cells. There are a lot of stem cells. These are adult stem cells mixed in with the fat. And they play a very important role as well in restoring volume. Okay, I think we have some uh, video actually to show our viewers, but we want to warn you it's a little bit graphic, but this is going to demonstrate uh, some of the procedures uh, that looks like your office there or perhaps a... Right. So, um, yeah, liposuction we uh, frequently do with the body jet, and this is the device that is helping us uh, obtain the fat cells in, in the right way. And it's a uh, machine that is providing uh, positive uh, pressure. It's actually pressurized uh, local anesthetic solution. And we collect the fat in a special container. Uh, depends on what we are doing, the part of the body if we are doing breast augmentation, we need uh, significant volumes of fat, so we will use a um, special collector to uh, uh, concentrate the fat. And uh, with the body jet, we're able also to obtain the stem cells um, along with the fat. Now, how do you decide which procedure is best for you? As far as different types of lasers, it depends on the part of the body that, that we are working on. and. Um, and it's not always used, really, you know, not every part of the body needs it, but the uh, certain areas like the thighs and the upper arms, definitely it's an advantage to use a laser. And I just want to ask, the benefit of using the laser uh, as opposed to the old way where there wasn't a laser? Uh, the advantage is the increased contraction of not only the skin, but there is a three-dimensional shrinkage of the, of the layer below the skin that the uh, laser helps enhance. All right. Um, how soon do patients see results after having uh, one of these three procedures? With liposuction, most people look quite good a week later. And at that point, they will still have some swelling. That's a natural part of the uh, recovery process. And they'll continue to see further improvement in the weeks after that. Okay. Um, so let's talk about this, doctor. As, as people tend to age, they lose volume in their face and it kind of shows age a little bit more. But there are ways to avoid that? That's right. Part of the aging process in the face especially is loss of volume. And when we give seminars, I talk about the other uh, aspects of aging, the other mechanisms. And this one's a little harder for people to grasp. And you do see it especially around the eye area. And we have some pictures that I think will demonstrate that. Yes, actually we could put the pictures up and we could uh, see how exactly you're able to get results almost from 20 years ago? Is that kind of what's, what the case is? Uh, yes, yeah, potentially. That's and great. You're turning back the hands of time there, doctor. Correct. Yeah, so th this is a picture of a patient who is uh, 51. Uh, the photo on the right shows her um, uh, just recently. And the photo on the right, on the uh, left, rather, is her current photo. On the right is 30 years ago at age 21. And if you look around the eye, the upper eyelid and the lower eyelid, in her uh, previous uh, youthful condition, she had a lot more volume around the eye. And now she has, uh, had it, has more of a sunken in look. And this is showing the result on the right hand uh, photo. That is how she looked after she had the augmentation with the combination of fat cells and stem cells. 
providing more volume. Now, is this done only on the face, or is there other parts of the body where this could? Well, we do a similar, volume? you know, much more large volume procedure when we do breast augmentation. But on the face, we use very tiny instruments, uh, smaller than a micro can cannula. I call it a nano cannula. And this, this is showing the, um, on this patient, the areas that were augmented using the combination of uh, fat cells and stem cells. Would you say this is one of the most uh, popular procedures? Um, you know, people have a lot more, they're a lot, it's a lot easier for them to grasp the concept of uh, a facelift, for example, or a, a skin treatment to help with wrinkles. Mm -hmm. um, and so they have to, you know, re realize why we are doing volume augmentation. There are uh, simpler alternatives that, such as just filling materials that can be used. They are not uh, natural and they're also temporary. And they also Botox or, or Restylane? That kind uh, of yeah, thing. Restylane, uh, Radius, uh, Sculptra. Um, most people are concerned that they are temporary and they can also be uh, even more expensive because they will wear off. So the combination of fat and stem cells when done properly will give permanent results. Well, there's got to be something said to the fact that it's your own body. You're taking, you're just kind of moving the fat around more or less. Yeah, you're using your own tissue. It's 100% uh, natural. Uh, when we do breast augmentation, we refer to that as natural breast augmentation. There are no artificial uh, implants or silicone or anything like that. A lot of people like that idea. Uh, to, um, uh, this is a family show, so we can't show the breasts here, but if people go to our website, langdoncenter.com, they can see actual examples mm -hmm. of um, breast augmentation done with the combination of Very fat and stem cells. Um, all right, doctor, you have an upcoming seminar. Yes, we have a seminar um, next, next week, actually. All the information on, is on the screen right there. On Thursday, uh, the 27th at 7 p.m. And what are uh, people going to find out there? Is that kind of a, well, we'll talk an about overview? Yeah, we'll talk about the aging process. Most of it is looking at actual patients of ours, before and after photos of people who have had various uh, procedures. And uh, people usually find it uh, very educational to see what these options are. Very good, Doctor. Well, thank you for being here today. And of right. course, uh, if you want to get in touch with Dr. Langdon, he's located in Guilford. All the information is on the screen. Or, of course, you can come to WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Style. We'll have the link for you there. All right.